Hello and welcome to the Hollywood Roundtable for the acclaimed film Trap. With a record-breaking 18 Oscar nominations, we're here to discuss the process. Justin, we'll start with you. Were you afraid of being called overrated when you took on this role? Yeah, absolutely. You know, as soon as casting news broke out, I checked Twitter obsessively and 3.30 in the morning, there was this rant. You know, he's fat, too ugly. Mm -hmm. And what hurt the most is that he called me a sad actor. I remember that day. You know, we got death threats for a casting. Yeah. They wanted Chris Hemsworth. They wanted a real American. But he's Australian. Oh, but in the alternative facts encyclopedia. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Right? What was your preparation like? Well, when you're tackling a, a real person, there's obviously lots of uh, material you can draw from. There's lots of tapes that I could study. His his mannerisms, his tics, you know, his his. Pop. You look just like him. <sighs> well, three oh, hours of makeup every yeah, day. I mean, <laughs> is... but you know, that's funny. That's the first day is shooting and we were having problems getting the character and I have to give Sophia a lot of credit as she said to me she said just put lemon drops in your eyes in your mouth and I, I did and I, you know, I just... uh, that sounds very painful well that's what you do for your craft yeah. how about you Sophia you being the writer director Latina who came here legally did this must have felt like a big fuck you what was your inspiration? Well, it goes back to 2017, you know, with Meryl's Globe speech, very inspiring. You know, especially because my father was disabled and uh, he died a year later and I was unable to make it to his funeral. I tried climbing the wall, you know, it was being built that time and I fell. I fractured my arm, my hips, my head and I died briefly, but I died. Wow. But hey, I'm a survivor. Here I am, yes. right? You are. Yes, she is. You are. I am. No. I'm still paying for the medical bills though. Because, of course, Führer doesn't take care of me. I'm very sorry to hear oh, that. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, the emotions, you know, the, the fear that came out of that is exactly what got me writing. So, Nicole, yeah. you brought the financing to the film. I did. Were you ever afraid that it would flop? You know, biopics are always a really big risk. And at the time, half of the population was against it. Well, well three million less than half. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, but we felt like it was important to tell this story. You know, we don't want future generations to repeat this mistake. Yeah, but that hasn't worked before. I mean, we have movies like Schindler's List and 1984. Our movie is different. It's working. Not to quote him, but it's great. It's tremendous. It's huge. So how about uh, putting together an all-female crew? Was that was that an accident? or was No, that... I just hired the best people for the job. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. Although, you know, Justin is a method actor, so that was a bit of a struggle for him. It was hell having to treat women as equal and not just pussies that I could grab, you know? And again, I'm sorry, but it was just part of being in that disturbed mindset that I'm so relieved I don't have to be in anymore. Let's talk about the technical side, the hair, mm -hmm. spot on. The hair was actually a bit more difficult than the orange skin tone. Mm. You wouldn't think, but yeah. we tried everything. We had hair wax, mm. sprays, rat hair wigs, and nothing really worked until our absolutely lovely PA, Matt, accidentally dropped the wig on the ground and the grip truck rolled over it, and that's what created the iconic Look. And then, you know, the Henson guys came in. Yeah, can you expand on that a little bit? Yeah, we actually work with Jim Henson's company to create those tiny hands. We hired some crazy talented puppeteers that totally nailed all of Justin's movements. Yeah. They deserve the Oscar. We all deserve the Oscars. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, that's very yeah. true. Uh, how about you, Laura? We haven't heard from you. What was it like to work on the production design of this film? I didn't realize the challenge I was in for. The amount of gold was so overwhelming. Sometimes you have to sacrifice good taste to stick to reality. But I did like how the golden showers tied the room together. Yes. Yes. Oh, can we talk about the score? Can you tell me what was the most challenging part of scoring this film? Honestly, I, I, can, I can decide between the Muslim cams, his not-so-secret alliance with the Russians, or the ultimate nuclear war itself. It was so many moments. Uh, no! That's no. it for the round table. Thank you so much for watching.